down. Uh, and then Brown, who is Voodoo Jester, managed to pick up the kill onto Trixie on Forsaken Archer. And the Legion just pwned someone. The Legion just pwned Defiler, who apparently was sticking her neck out and got it chopped off. Or her head chopped off. Not her neck, that would be weird. Uh, but we got Andromeda and Behemoth, probably were the ones that were uh, guilty in that murder. So we'll be seeing, uh, be looking forward to that trial on uh, Court TV. So yeah, this Elder Parasite on him, that's kind of a little bit odd to me, but hey, I, I, I don't know. I would think that, you know, the classic Geometer's route might be a little bit better, but you know, you you do see Life Leech going on to Flint sometimes in the form of Whispering Helm. But yeah, Elder Parasite, Elder Parasite, I am not so used to. So we will have to see how he makes use of it here, as he is going to be coming in onto Polywog Priest. Oh, and unfortunately, oh, <laughs> Didn't even need the ultimate on that. He didn't have to use it either. Uh, yep, they got the kill on Glacius. Oh, Wretched Hag, where are you at, Wretched Hag? As Wretched Hag's gonna get away like a little Wretched Hag. Oh! Boom! As, yeah, Tempest did the uh, last auto attack there, and actually a nice presence of mind from Forsaken Archer as well, because if she had not decided to use her ultimate, I don't think Tempest's melee, or er, auto attack would have been enough to have finished that off, so Forsaken Archer popped the ultimate, and only one of it hit, but it was enough. Oh, Tempest is going down, most certainly, as Voodoo's going to be going down as well. Flint Beastwood has to get out of here, get out of here, get out of here, oh, get out of there. Okay, yeah, he's going to dodge it. So, that is another benefit, I suppose, of the um, Elder Parasite, is the additional movement speed. Oh, nice move there, as he did, oh, he got caught by the Crippling Volley, though. Unfortunately, though, the Fisher stun completely blocked off Forsaken, was unable to continue the uh, the chase there, as now we've got Behemoth going to be running into a bunch of trouble here, he's in trouble, he's in trouble, oh, he goes down, Wretched Hag going to be joining him, oh, and Forsaken Archer, are you going to be able to survive, her little skeleton buddy giving away her position, but yeah, looks like, uh, so we've got a what, a one for one, Wretched Hag for Behemoth, I'd do that, that's like a, I don't know, it's like a, a knight for a bishop, something like that, because I don't lax me no bishops, because those little buggers can fly across the map diagonally, and well, you know, knights have their uses, but they're just tricky. Oh, middle's going down, yep. Uh, nice use of the poly, I didn't even mention that earlier, sorry guys, I should have mentioned that, but if you guys are watching this, you probably do watch some Han, so you know that uh, the reason you would pick up Oh, where the hell did I just press? Oh, okay. The reason you would pick up Polywog Priest is because of his amazing ultimate and its awesome pushing potential. So with that, we do have, you know, Forsaken took down Bottom Tower all on her lonesome. Uh, Polywog Priest finished off the middle, and they've still got the top tower up here, but it is in some serious doo-doo as... Uh, I guess we've got... Oh, wow. I don't remember exactly when they took the top tower down. So we're tied on towers... Uh, but we still have a golden experience lead, which is starting to grow in favor of the Legion. So MSI doing fairly well this game so far, as it is 13-8 uh, to 8 in favor of the Legion, of course. So <clears throat> Flint now actually picking up a Quick Blade to go along with his Elder Parasite. So he is probably going to be picking up Firebrand next here, and then I can only assume he's going to go into a Geometer's Bane. Or you might go ahead and finish that out into a Frostburn, I believe is the full gadget. Wretched Hag picks up her, oh, just picked up the Steam Boots. So getting that extra survivability there, and a little bit extra movement speed by going ahead and finishing those out. Glacius still not moved up to Striders yet, but doing the counter warding, doing the warding, doing his job as a support. So good on Glacius, uh, gotta appreciate that fella. As the ward's coming out here to... Oh, he was trying to get Flint. Uh, oh, Portal Key. <laughs> That's kind of a big pickup. Wasn't paying attention there. Uh, but yeah, Portal Key being picked up onto Polywog Priest for that uh, jump-in, grab, initiation kind of type thing. Or for, you know, in that case, escape. So, very nice. As he picks that up. And Defiler, what do you have, Defiler? Got the Blood Chalice bottle. Bolstering armband, so... Huh. 
Oh, and I am sorry if my voice sounds a little odd, guys, because uh, apparently, I, I think that might have been why I woke up, is because I've got my nose is kind of really stuffed, and uh, it's just, I don't know, my head feels congested, but nothing better I could do than just go ahead and decide to do a little bit of casting, so, wow, that's a big group, as they are going to go all, <laughs> they're all going to go down, not all going to go with, I don't even want to try and re reiterate my failure. As we get a creep stack going on here from Defiler, she's going to blah, go ahead all over that. And we have death. Doesn't look like it. They're still alive. Oh, that's what they mean. Okay. So it takes two of them. It should be like the half of half of a wave of death. Since it, it took at least two there. And look at these guys. Man, they've been doing some serious stacking. Oh, that one's gone, of course, since they just finished that one out. And they're... pulled this one over. Hey, look at that cat man. Oh! And he misses the last hit on it. Failure. But that's pretty hard to last hit with Glacius on that anyways, when you get a whole creep wave on it. So... That's always fun. As, yeah, it looks like Forsaken is going to go the uh, Geometer's Bane route. As Polywog's going to come in here, gets uh, the nice blink, gets the grab off really quick. The ultimate going out from Defiler there to go, or the ultimate going out from Forsaken. As, yeah, I just missed three people dying. So I apologize about that, but the tower's going to go down here. Uh, no Tail manages to pick up the kill on that. As we've got uh, Polywog Priest going to use this uh, Portal Key yet again to come in here and chase down this poor Voodoo Chester. <laughs> Poliwog has double damage, so uh, just doing an insane amount of damage. Whoa, look at the defensive TPs coming out here from the Legion as they are going to get in there and do some business. Oh, and he gets out in the last nick of time. Very nice. Ooh, Flint, you are one gutsy boy. As uh, he just barely, I mean barely, made it out of there. Because if Polly had been able to have gotten, you know, clicked on him, I think he made it in there in time. If he'd have just had something up, he probably could have... I don't know if he had something up or not, but... He potentially could have caught Flint there, which would have been a very bad uh, death to have on your team. As now we are starting to see this game get pulled a little bit away here, as it is 17 to 8, 20 minutes into this game. We have uh, the highest gold per minute. Sorry I don't touch on the gold per minute more as that's a pretty telling part of any game. But I've had the stats open down there, so hopefully you guys have been uh, paying attention at your leisure. As No-Tail on the Polywog Priest, who's been picking up the tower kills and everything, and some hero kills, as he's 5-2, has 352 gold per minute, who is full followed, or well, I guess who is uh, led by Trixie on his team. So, uh, looks like Forsaken Archer is getting a pretty good farm on, and... Uh, Doing where is Forsaken Archer? I can't click buttons. As Forsaken is doing quite well, you know, gonna be finishing out the geometers here soon. What do we got? What do we got? We got the whole geometers here. Yep. Bam. So nicely done. Forsaken now has her geometers. Unfortunately, missed the crippling volley on that guy, but she's gonna get the kill here on that one anyways. So. Doing a nice bit of farm as she's at 416 gold per minute. And let's follow someone who's going to get into trouble. Maybe. Uh, but other than that, we've got Flint Beastwood, who's maintaining just as good, if not better, farm. And, you know, if i got to put my money on anyone, Forsaken versus Flint, I am going to go Flint. Because Flint is a big old, mean old uh, orc. Yeah, that's that's basically all i got, is that he's an orc. And that he has a gun that's procs a stun. And that rhymes need to make a song out of that but yeah uh, Flint he's easily considered the, the much better carry here I mean Forsaken Archer's what semi carry carry I don't keep track of what you know and everyone's gonna have their own opinion and someone's gonna be like oh but Doc said you don't even know what Forsaken is <laughs> you suck as Defiler is gonna go down to that sucky uh, uh, Forsaken Archer who is the um, the nice uh, heavy puller here on this uh, Legion team. Well, I guess Fresh Pro picked up the kill on the Heme Fresh Pro on the Hemoth. I'm not used to that. As a uh, little bit of extra damage going on to Polly. Not going to matter, though. 
So, as I was saying, before I interrupted myself and started blabbing, we have... Oh, Flint got caught out. He's dead. And Behemoth... Oh, nice swap going out on Behemoth to get him out of dangerous way. Tempest Ultimate finally coming into use here. We've got a genocide going in favor of the Legion here. So they've got a little bit of a free window here. They've got 40 seconds at maximum on Flint there, which is probably the most dangerous person on their team besides Wretched, maybe. Uh, even Defiler, though. But Defiler's coming up soon. Uh, not sure if Defiler's going to be able to push them back or not. But we're going to see this defense tower drop pretty quickly here. Oh, they do use the defense on it. And they throw up... What the... Fresh pro. Silly fresh pro. That might have actually cost his teammate a little bit there. As uh, it looked like Andro tried to retreat. But unfortunately, the Fisher stun that fresh pro teasingly... Ha ha ha, lols guys. I'm going to trap you. Uh, threw the Fisher stun across here. And uh, unfortunately, when she clicked, uh, Andro decided to wander this way. Which let her get the Glacius um, spell off onto her. But she didn't die, so... Thankfully, it wasn't one of those jokes, those practical jokes that you pull on your friends. You're like, haha, wasn't that so funny? Oh my god, you got hurt. I'm so, I am, I just feel awful now. So, I'm not going to say sorry, though, because then I would look like a D-bag. But, uh, yeah, thankfully, you know, uh, Andrew did not die there due to her f teammate's antics. As we all know that Fresh Pro is one of those fellows who likes to have a little fun in the game season, especially when he feels that they have a pretty secure win. And there's no reason not to right now. Uh, they have a 22 to 8 lead. It is a 10,000 uh, experience lead and a 12,000 gold lead, which is usually the time you start to see the fresh pro antics. Uh, but he has his portal key, so he's feeling good about himself. And yeah, they're, they're doing well this game. So, you know, if they want to have a little fun, they can have a little fun. Tempest does have the Blood Chalice. He has his portal key. Uh, we saw a very beautiful ultimate coming out from him last time in this last big fight. Flint, though, unfortunately, was caught completely out that last fight, so he was not a part of the fight whatsoever. He pretty much was trying to run away the entire time, and it didn't work. As you saw, he you know, ran straight into the Fisher Stun and stayed there. Um, just trying to click on everyone so I don't get yelled at again. Please don't fire me. Uh, so, yeah, he's got the geometers. He's working on his... Oh, there it is. Talk about timing. It's like I've watched this before. But uh, Flint is going to pick up his Geometer's Bane uh, to go along with his Elder Parasite. Not sure... What are you doing? I was going to say, Flint! Kill him, Flint! Kill him! But no. Wait, what? Just because you have guys there doesn't mean you don't get to finish the... Oh, they lost the Ward of Revelations. I see. I see. As Flint's going to pick up the kill onto Behemoth. Oh, no he's not. As uh, apparently Voodoo wanted that. So now Forsaken coming in here, all gutsy like, whoa, that was a bad idea. Forsaken's like, I am just such a great carry this game. I am going to run in here and I am going to pwn you all like one on five. And I will show you guys what a real carry is. Which unfortunately didn't work, but it was a valiant effort, I will say. So, oh, now Polywog's going to be in a lot of trouble here. He is invisible, but... It's not going to stop him from taking damage from that Defiler ultimate, I wouldn't think. Maybe. I don't know. I don't know if I've ever tried that before. Sitting around in Viz in a Defiler ultimate. I don't know if the little critters still... Sw or the ghosts come by to get you. Wow, that tower hates Defiler. Doesn't care anything about Flint, though. As Flint does have level 4 of his dead eyes, so he's able to shoot from a long distance. Does pick up the tower kill. As... Kind of saw a little bit of a reversal, I guess, compared to what it was the game before. Oh, and Polywog Priest. Whoa, buddy. Whoa, buddy. As, yeah, he goes down really quick. Voodoo Jester's going to be joining him. But uh, if they don't pick up... Oh, they do pick up the Wretched Hag kill. So it wasn't completely worth it. Tempest taking a lot of damage from Flint as he's going to go down to the... Boom! Money shot. And, uh... I don't know why I keep doing that. What is that from? That boom headshot thing? I've heard it a million times. I don't want to be, you know, but that is what Flint says. I guess he says it a little different, but... Behemoth, he's dead. Hat trick? Woof! This Flint is out of control. Look at him. As he's going to try and kill... Oh, he does kill for Saquad kill. Going out in favor of Flint Beastwood. 
That nasty, nasty Flint Beast would. Who had the. F who? 